Right there guys, my name is Geist and I'm bringing you some footage of the Star Citizen Cutlass which is a ship purchasable from robertspaceindustries.com for the upcoming game Star Citizen and Squadron 42. I did a previous video about this ship when I first got it, just outlining some of the features and how it looks. Since then there's been a major update to the hangar. Hangar update 11 has been released which has added a few new features to the Cutlass. It's still not viewable on the hollow table, which sucks. Well, that doesn't matter to me because my weapons have been installed and there's been major texture updates as well as functionality updates to the ship. So taking a look around it now, there's been a bit of remodeling on the wing there. Makes it look a lot more sleek and aggressive and some texture effects which just make the ship look fantastic with the lighting there. Looks much better. I know it's factory brand new but I really like the weathering effect. It gives it a bit of character. Uh, front mounted weapons look really cool. Not too disproportionate. They're quite, you know, they fit in quite well. Not disproportionate was the word I was looking for back there. And obviously you can see the turret on the top there looking badass. So let's do a quick run around and then head inside and check out some of the new features. So, as you can see, still, still looks absolutely fantastic. I'm in love with this ship. And from the back again, the reason why I bought it just looks awesome. So you access the back of the ship, or the rear of the ship, by pressing this little button here. If it works, there we go. Press the button, done, and the cargo lift drops down. So let's head inside. Now, looks awesome, don't you think? And the toilet even works as well, which is always good to see if I hop inside that now. Oh. There we go. Still some uh, updates they need to do. But yeah, my toilet works. How fucking awesome is that? And yeah, that's about it. Apart from this netting around, it looks pretty cool as well. Overall, it just looks, just looks awesome now. Um, so, a big update that I found was the docking port opens when you press that button. Which is just a nice little feature to see. Oh, and then this, this seat works as well. I didn't mean to do that. But yep, well, the seats work, so... If you're a passenger on my ship, you can, you're welcome to sit on that chair. You're more than welcome. So let's just close this down now. There we go. And it'll close up. Wonderful! And the next one would be this button here. Oh, no. That's the seat again. We do not want to be in the seat. No. No. This is still very much in pre-pre-pre-pre-pre-alpha. So don't judge that. Right, there we go. Press the button. And this should come down, hopefully. There it is! Oh my god! So I can finally get up to my turret. Here we go. I'm doing my own sound effects because there's no sound effects just in yet. And you can see the view inside the turret. Looks awesome! That's gonna be cool. And then from the outside, you can see it. It just looks really, really cool. That little badass turret, so I can't wait to see that firing away with the broadsides on. I think they're my broadsides, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they are, because I bought a couple and I can see them on the hollow table, but they're not on there. All these might just be standard turret guns, I don't know, but they look awesome. And then just taking a look at the ship from outside, just looks incredible. Much better than the, uh, than the last model, I think, it just looks a lot more aggressive. I found before it looked a little bit, you know, if that's a, you know, a term that I can use to describe it, it didn't look as badass, but now it just looks absolutely awesome so happy with this ship. Right, let's head back down, shall we? Good sound effects there. I noticed a lot of the sound's gone inside as well, so let's just put this turret back up. I've opened the door. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put the turret back up. There we go. Turret has gone back up. Fantastic. Well, now you can see the door, I guess. There's an advantage. Bit of lighting touch-ups need to be done there, but hey, I don't care about that. Let's get inside. So, now we can see lots of lots of buttons. Lots of buttons. Walking up to the uh, pilot area now. Again, these haven't become functional yet, but I'm sure they'll serve a purpose. Um, some texture updates look really nice. This isn't usable yet, but that doesn't matter. So, the co-pilot seat is up, which is awesome. Hoping that you can control the turret from here or something. But, yeah, the main thing is that seat's up. Uh, it doesn't appear that the HUD is uh, is activated yet, but that's cool. Because before it was just a really shitty, blue, crappy screen. 
But you can actually get in all the seats now, which is nice. And have a little bit of a run around the ship. Which is really cool. Take a look around the cockpit. So yeah, just decent texture updates. Make it look so much better. So I'm really, really happy with it. Just looks amazing. Absolutely in love with this ship. I'd highly recommend it. It's pretty cheap. And, uh, well, I'm guessing it's going to be well worth it. But I'm so happy with it. So yeah, that's a bit of uh, footage of the, the new Cutlass, if you will. And I'm sure there'll be many more updates coming as well. Which I'll keep you posted on the Cutlass. Uh, plan on buying a Hornet Ghost in the next paycheck when it comes through. Um, or something else. We'll see if another ship gets released. Then uh, give it a go. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, a subscribe and a like, maybe a comment will be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheerio.